Like, how does your car stop because you don't have it? Or did you not see? They really said you're gonna suffer with that. I don't see. Like, months worth of videos are gone. I can lock myself in my room for two days. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm waking up. The first thing that I feel like doing is just holding up my camera and talking to you so good morning I'm so tired and I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm better off this is a random but I'm better off I'm better off um, like sleeping early and waking up early rather than sleeping late and then like kind of waking up at 6 I don't know there's something about like waking up early and Waking up early before everyone and just kind of having some time to yourself to get things done and I feel like the earlier that, I, that I'm able to wake up the more that I'm able to do rather than rather than sleeping late and then I'm exhausted and I don't think the efficiency of my work is is gonna be enough it's currently 4.50 4.50 Nine and five, four fifty. So I thought I would wake up, finish the video that I need to upload tomorrow. By the I'm so curious. Do you guys prefer uploads on like Mondays, Tuesdays, or Wednesdays? I'm not sure. I was doing Tuesdays before, then I did Wednesday, but I'm thinking maybe even Monday. Monday seems to make more sense because I don't know. It's the start of the week, and you have the entire week to watch it rather than Wednesday. Wednesday seems so late. Tuesday is just weird. I don't know. I'm gonna start doing it on Mondays. We'll see. Tell me. Tell me what you think. But anyways, I'm waking up. I want to finish editing this video so that I can probably upload it for tomorrow. And as well as have breakfast maybe. I don't know if I usually want to be having breakfast before I go to work. Because the thing is, when you go to work and for the role that I usually have, I'm usually sitting most of the time. So I get bored. And the thing is, when you just sit and you're doing nothing, all you want to do is eat. And you just want to eat or drink something. That's, is it just me? Is it just me who thinks like that? I don't know. Eating seems like the logical thing. And like not eating, like snacking kind of. But I feel like that's what's going to make me add weight. I realized like when I went home and I, I checked my weight, I added like a kg and a half. And I'm usually, and I'm usually trying to play around a specific range of my weight so it's not making me happy and in fact i want to kind of i said this month i wanted to do um a raw eating basically it means like <coughs> more salads it means more salads more fruits um i would say raw meat but not really i used to do more research about it but basically we're trying to cut out the carbs bread um you know stuff like that like that like pasta rice all that stuff so yeah this is something that i want to try i'm not sure how it'll go but like i'm a big fan of salad so i don't mind the question is is it filling i feel like yeah you can you can feel it give you energy rather than when you're eating like bread and carbs and rice and all of that but the thing is is there a diversity of it i don't know but sometimes i'm very picky with the vegetables that i'm usually eating that's my dilemma at the moment but for now i want to go down oh i want to have some green tea i don't know what it is with me and green tea but green tea it'd be slapping i like having chamomile tea at night when i'm reading my book because that shit knocks me out chamomile tea knocks me out so if you ever have problems sleeping try chamomile tea but then like right now i think i think i'd I don't, know, I don't know if I want to do green tea. I can do green tea or I can do a matcha and then I can carry a smoothie to work and then I'm supposed to do juicing. I don't know if I have time to do all that. I'm, I'm yappy right now. I'm supposed to be editing this video and then yeah the matcha have a mat the thing with matcha is that it's milk like me and milk sometimes I don't know how we go together like it's just meh like sometimes it feels like too much like it feels like so much dairy other times like there's nothing else that would go well with matcha I don't know if I want to try like oat milk not oat milk almond milk I've tried almond milk before it tastes so nice nice good morning <laughs>
mom showed me this thing where you get this like reusable this airwix this airwix thingy that you they put in your bathrooms and i'm reusing it so what i did was i put like some can you see it i put some like cotton pads like some cotton pads the ones that you use on your face and then i kind of doused them with perfume and i'm gonna put it in the car because i want the car to have like a certain smell so i'm just gonna put it like under a seat and hopefully it works hopefully i don't know i don't know why put the, the door now i'm gonna put it under the seat i'm just gonna put it under the seat because i don't know if it's gonna fall off okay i've stuck it up so anyways let's just go i'm already kind of late 7 45 7 45 and i'm still here I'm still here. No, I'm not here. I'm leaving. for almost the past one and a half hours reading this book trying to finish it and listen i only have 23 more pages to go 23 23 and i feel kind of sad like i'm i'm glad that i'm getting here like i'm glad we are almost 720 pages done with this book because that's how many pages it is but i'm glad but it's so sad ah oh. I feel like I just want to hug this person. Like, if you've read The Little Life, I really just want to hug Jude. Like, I just want to... I want to make all of his problems go away. But this this, this man has gone through it. He has absolutely gone through it. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who's reading because I know the people who are reading. And the people who suggested for me to read this and who just kept pushing me like, yeah, keep going, they really said you're going to suffer with us. You're going to suffer the way we did. And I am. The number of times I've cried, I cried on... Sunday when we went for lunch with my dad and my brother I was reading this book and we were having lunch but I'm just I'm crying in public I'm crying in freaking public like what is that like that's how you know I'm hooked on this book like I'm there's a point like I did kind of chill on it like I'm gonna be very open right now there was a point like a few months ago I don't know when I got this book I think I got this book in May or June I can't remember but like there was a time I was kind of going through a bit of depression and this was not helping me <laughs> not helping me at all so i kind of i chilled on the book and when i finally got back into it like i'll just go and go and go and go and go we're coming to the end we're coming to the end <sighs> i have no more tears in me to left to cry for this book i don't but now it's like it's 5 58 and i realized today morning let me tell you guys a story i realized today morning i don't know why i was driving to work and all of a sudden i'm seeing my fuel gauge has just like kind of gone down this beer i was like what the hell so i'm driving and then it shows me the signal but luckily for me there's a petrol station nearby work so i'm just gonna go there but i'm really hoping that the car will make it there like i'm pretty sure it will but we're on the edge we're nearing very close to the edge where that car can can just stop on the road and the one thing my mom told me is the most embarrassing thing that can happen to you on the road is you not having fuel in your car in your car like how does your car stop because you don't have fuel did you not see did you not see the warning side did you not see that alarm telling you like you need to fuel in your car but no but no you really decided to push through it this car let me tell you something this car i don't play with it i do not play with it having a car is expensive expensive it's not fuel it's not repairs it's not car wash it's not hey don't even get me started on service like service is like it like another year like eight months but this car has shown me mambos mambos why didn't you guys tell me how many cars are expensive how many cars are expensive anyways i'm packing up i want to go home i have i have like i don't know how many youtube videos to edit i have emails that i need to send out like i need to draft and schedule to send them out tomorrow and i have to go to the bathroom please and the bathroom is so far they decided to put the bathroom so far away like bro it's gonna take me a whole like 12 minutes just to go and come back like for real i'm not even joking it's like 10 minutes to go and come back rather than like two minutes to go and come back why why and i know i'm coming in tomorrow early anyways y'all i'll see you guys in a bit what time did i tell you guys it's gonna it's gonna take me to get back 20 minutes 
took me 15. 15. Just because I had kind of packed. I had kind of packed my bags. So, by the time I'm leaving towards the washroom, it's 6. By the time I'm, I'm done and I'm coming back, it was like 6 or 7. And then by the time I'm packing my bags, I'm leaving the office at 6.10. By the time I'm leaving the office and I'm getting to the car at 6.15. ETC card is 6 not to be exact 616 but it's okay it's all right okay so the funny thing and i told you i told you guys when i come ah oh, yo i need to change the settings i have a famous car was driving funny today now i know i put i think i put like cruise control or something it was just it just driving had a funny and why are my lights on why is so much happening within this car so much is happening i don't understand myself you know i told you like when i came here in the morning when i was on my way here in the morning that the fuel sign thingy had gone on like the warning sign had gone on i switched the car on now it's gone off but that's normal that's normal can someone please educate me on those things like educate me and tell me like why sometimes it goes on sometimes it goes off and usually i play with this range like once i start seeing the warning sign of fuel i start getting prepared i start preparing myself now i just want to go home i just want to go home read my book fuel this car oh my god Eesh. <laughs> okay, but I still appreciate it. It's just hey, adulting. No, I told you, adulting is you know getting paid your salary, and you have to budget for it. You know, you have to budget now for fuel, shopping, the whole thing. Sometimes even insurance. Yo, but it is well. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, adulting is work. But what isn't work? Hmm. Huh? Yeah. When you set up and then you know you're going to say something and then you've completely gone blank. That was me. I've come into my room and I know someone is in my room and I feel so self-conscious because remember um a few like I think a video ago I told you guys that um the Ossini was being prepared. Blah, repaired. So I've come in and I've seen my towel on my bed, I just know someone is in my bathroom. And I'm a lady. I'm a lady. <laughs> and I know very well there are men in that bathroom. It's like, that's so hella embarrassing because I have found my personal items somewhere, meaning somebody touched them. And I'm not happy. Why? 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 And thing is, unfortunately, unfortunately, like, my mom has made me very prone or very, like, she's taught, she's told me, like, some things and I'm just like, mmm, yeah, I never thought about it like that. So... Feeling a bit self-conscious. I'm showering, I'm nice and fresh. I'm in my diva, I'm comfortable. Now, I just wanna do my skincare and settle down and finish my book. One thing I'm not even told you guys is like how much like I really like this hairstyle. I've been struggling to do my hair. Like one thing I'm very self-conscious about is like my hair, especially when it's free because I never know how to style short hair. I've talked about this already. I. I, I never know how to style short hair. I've done a million and one things, but I'm never like really free to do short hair. But now this, I feel like this is my signature look. You know, it's showing face, it's showing forehead, landing strip. And speaking of landing strip, somebody, a certain someone at work, decided to give me their unsolicited opinion, going in with the, the glycolic acid so percent exfoliating towel so somebody at work decided to give me their unsolicited opinion about my hair and the reason why i would struggle with my like styling my hair is because of a bit of an insecurity that i have which is my hairline but i don't care so someone decided to give me their unsolicited opinion and tell me they're just like kind of looking at me they're just like hmm 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 i thought something was on my head like i thought something was on my hair i was even doing this and I was trying to wipe it off, whatever, whatever, whatever. For them to tell me, oh, the landing strip is coming in. I'm like, what do you mean? And they're just like, oh, you know, before I used to put like, used to feature, I used to put bands, but now we see that you're having a landing strip, the landing strip is coming in. I'm just like, at first it bothered me. It really did. Like, I thought about it for like a whole 10, 15 minutes. Do you know how long it's taken me? finally find 
like a style that I'm comfortable with because first off I feel like I've never been like too open to show my face I'm always either hiding my ears I'm either hiding my forehead I'm either hiding you know honestly my hairline but like who are you to tell me that who are you to tell me that excuse are you a big age are you a big ass age and give me that comment I'm just like huh I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything, yeah. Cause I don't wanna come out like as a rude person. But unsolicited opinions, they're not wanted here. As long as they're not positive, keep them to yourself. I don't need them. Listen, it took me ages to finally like find like a style that I'm comfortable with. Like you guys have seen, it's taken me a while. It's taken me a while and this this is me. This is me right here because I, I really don't have to struggle with my hair. I don't have to struggle feeling like, you know, is it short down here on my bangs, you know, like even enough. No, I've decided to push everything back. That looks like a sleek bun with like a middle part, but like it doesn't make me look too old. It makes me look like sophisticated. And then somebody comes, somebody comes with their unsolicited opinions telling me that I did straight. You know, it is well. I thought about it and I decided I'm not going to allow somebody power over me. Really and true. My brother came into my room and he was just chatting, 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 and he's here for like almost an hour, an hour and a half. And we ended up like talking to my mom. And as they were talking, like I was reading, and I'm 10 pages away. I don't know whether I already think or I already know where it's gone to but I thought that I would just take the camera and probably feel my film and film my reaction to what I'm about to find out and how I'm about to find out about it because I'm not giving spoilers but I think we all saw this coming it's just how it's just how and I'm really sad ah! Two three months later, I have finally finished this book, and all I can do is just give a very loud and heavy sigh. A sigh. I was so so keen on getting this book and just to have a good cry, and I definitely had a good cry. But damn, was it worth it? Maybe. Definitely. Definitely worth the cry. Definitely worth the hype. Definitely worth the time that I gave it to read through this book because it was a lot It's a lot like I have I have page markers if or like probably every good part that I liked in the book, but it was a lot Definitely a lot say to anybody who probably feels like the book is a bit slow give it time give it time Because a few of you have told me that yeah, it's a bit slow But I keep telling you like just like keep on with it like push through it and just kind of in, like involve yourself or like put yourself in the book and in the situation think of it like as a movie or a series because it will really transport you to somewhere else and that's me the entire time like if i'm reading this at work there's a reason i'm reading this at work like i just can't disappear into the book and i can't believe i'm finally done with this and the print is small print is small like i'm not gonna spoil but print is quite small 720 pages but <sighs> this is a book i would i don't know if i would read it i would definitely read it again but let's give it a year or two if i need a good cry it's gonna be this book like i'm literally hugging this book because i can i can literally cry again <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot hey mm -mm. Mm -mm. But apparently, Hana, Hana Yanagihara, Yana, Yanagihara, yeah, Yana, huh? Hana Yanagihara typically typically writes like this, but it's 
something that I really come to appreciate about life and the struggles that we probably go through. And it has a lot of triggers. Like for anyone who can't handle like anything, any and every kind of trigger that you think there is, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. Like yo, I can't even look at you. I can't look. I can't look. Mm. It, it's literally like all around it. So all around it. That's actually crazy to put it in a book like this. Like all tropes of reading, it's definitely there. Except crime. I don't think crime is there. Yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you in a bit. But like, what the fuck? Calm down. Like usually it's me and like one or two ladies, but today it's just me. And even down, what? And even downstairs, like in the main office, there's there's hardly anyone. I don't know what everyone is today. If I'm not here, then some things won't be done. So someone has to be here. But hi, hi, are we this fine morning? I'm actually just gonna have my green tea. Never told, have I ever told you guys that I have like a, a, um, a jar of sugar because we have like a hot water dispenser here and then I bring my tea bags because we don't try to drink coffee every day. Like we have like a coffee machine downstairs but we don't try to drink coffee every day so I got my green tea. And green tea doesn't give you like that high to end caffeine rush and then just that slump. But I have my green tea and do my work and hopefully that will kind of wake me up because I've already had like a whole 500 ml. It's only 500 ml. Let me say like 400 ml. 400 ml of like cranberry pineapple juice. So now I'm just gonna have my tea. Let's barista ourselves some tea. So I have a bit of sugar here. Like I've been using it every time, but I need to. I need to go home and put more back. I actually have this. I have this Creature Gold um, cold water brew. So like I think a week ago, or probably. Two three weeks ago for when you're watching this video, I did a brand shoot with Creature Gold, which is really cool. So we got some cold brew tea. This is gonna be for later. I'm gonna put it in my water bottle. Tea bag. You just put hot water. work has just told me that she basically asked me do you know people watch your youtube do you know people at work watch your youtube videos i said no i didn't know that i know people think that i'm someone else but i didn't know that they watch my content on youtube because if you watch my content on youtube then you know who i am and i'm not the other person and i don't know how to feel about that i've, been, I've literally just come from telling her that i feel like i'm two persons two very different people and i think that should be the case and we we're just talking about like how we all have different personalities, right? Um, so I'm telling her that, you know, that side of me or this side of me is very different from like my work side where I'm not as probably social or I don't talk as much or I'm not, you know, 
active and all over the place like i don't even think i'm all over the place um but it's just that you have to you don't really showcase like everything about yourself at work because then people start to see you differently you'd rather have them see you for this professional side that you know you can manage and is very um that that kind of shows like a minimum less of yourself rather than being entirely yourself i don't know if that makes sense but my work personality is very different from probably my content creation or my youtube side personality does that make sense wearing glasses and then when you see me move my glasses it'll look different i hope not because i don't want to be that person i'm just chilling while people pass by i'm still trying to like get used to the whole youtuber thing like you know when people are staring at you yeah yeah i'm just minding my business paramount is an equivalent of ikea they literally have anything and everything building furniture mechanical electrical pipe work you name it like basically like just setting yourself up in regards to like a home even car some car parts because okay i'll go there tomorrow because this has just reminded me i want to get like a portable vacuum and the windshield wiper thingy yeah for when i'm usually cleaning the car because that's that's something that is something that is definitely needed for somebody who cleans their car I was kind of going there to look for extra storage bins and then I saw a few more extra things like a nice, a nice dust bin, a nice bin and like extra stuff that I thought would be nice but that's for another day. I think my priority right now is getting that vacuum for the car and the windshield wiper. It's not a windshield wiper but you know what I mean. That thing that you usually clean your windows with the car or even like any kind of window. I'm looking for that. It's 6.20. I wanna go home and I know as soon as I get home like I don't know my body just has this thing where I shower I chill for a bit maybe until 8 8 30 my brain just starts switching off like my body even starts sleeping so I don't know whether I'm delaying but I also don't want to get home late I don't want to get home late I don't want to get home in the dark so <laughs> dinner and can you guess what it is can you guess noodles it's burning it's burning hey i don't even know it's burning me i don't know if it's burning me like on my lips i don't know if it's burning me on my tongue on the sides of my tongue it's burning and we're still going yep we're still going and we're just here with our water milk and a series that i'm watching called designated survivor i know if you have watched it keep your opinions to yourself keep your comments to yourself but this is for me it's my chill time hot mm -mm -mm. but i'm not complaining i'm not don't get me wrong i'm not complaining this is busting one thing about me if you haven't watched my hot questions video i was just having chili i was having like a hot one quite like i was having like a hot one segment just like just me answering all your spicy questions me and chili we go way back way way back we go all the way bon appetit and i started spiraling i feel like we've been talking since yesterday yesterday night and after those noodles i knocked out knocked out but now it's another day i don't even know how long i've been doing this for but i hope you're enjoying so far and um uh, yeah yeah i just had my lunch a cold lunch my dream because our microwave is not working anymore so i had a cold lunch but i still have my smoothie it's not my smoothie so i'm gonna have that 
but I seriously need to get serious. Like, I really, really need to get serious about working out because I'm just not feeling like myself. I'm not. I want to get back to who I was over a year and a half ago when I was still in uni, when I was still active, when I was still looking snatched. Now, I just feel like I look like a potato. But it is what it is. We still have time. It's September. It's mid It's mid September? It's mid September. It's mid September. Wow. Anyways, yeah, I really want to get serious about like about working out, but I don't know how to feel about that because there are several external circumstances that just kind of don't allow me to. Kind of, I don't, I can't. It's hard. Let me just say that it's, it's a bit of a challenge at the moment. Um, in light of you know self care and health and fitness, I want to do my nails. Currently, what I have are are stick-ons and they're really bothering me they're really really bothering me and i think i want to do my nails today so i might end up going back to panda mart today to get nail polish and acrylics and just kind of should i get acrylics kind of because some of my nails are a bit short you yeah, want to get acrylics and um I'm, I'm trying to avoid using certain products the products that i have at home because i don't know which one of them is reacting with my fingers it's not good so I'm just trying to avoid it for now. So I'm just gonna get normal nail polish and we're just gonna have to go the manual route, like the old school route and put the polish, fan it out, weight it out, air it out, all of that. And uh, yeah, I guess we should be good to go. Today's Thursday? Today's Thursday, damn. Where did the week go? So I'm just here trying to transfer the videos and the pictures that I've taken from my camera to my SD card and I open my laptop da, 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 da. I'm going to transfer but I'm seeing that my laptop is taking a minute a minute like a long minute to kind of recognize my my flash drive because that's that's where I'm transferring it to I'm transferring my pictures and videos to my flash drive like I usually do at first I'm just like yeah maybe just the cable like the cable is faulty I always have issues with cable but then finally it reads and I'm seeing it's empty my flash drive is empty i've lost all my data on a 1.81 basically two terabyte flash drive it's gone and i had i had i had over like one tb probably one tb of stuff in there they're all gone all my videos are gone i can't even edit any of my past videos i can't do anything and i had like four videos coming up oh my god I don't even know how to recover like I've gone on Google I've, I've searched how to do the whole recovery process I've done the whole CMD coding kind of thing it's all gone it's all gone it's like I want to cry and I want to be angry because I have a feeling I know how it disappeared because I plugged it into my dad's printer yesterday because he needed help scanning something and sending something and I plugged it in so he could scan and print and do everything that he wanted to do but now everything is gone I want to be so mad. I want to be so so mad. I don't know whether I want to be mad at the printer. I don't know whether I want to be mad at myself for helping. I had it on the flash drive. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. And I was just like, these guys are so desperate to send whatever it is that they're sending. Let me just help them with my flash drive. And I plugged in my flash drive into the printer. And now everything is gone. Like months worth of videos are gone. Literally my entire life for the past five years is gone yo i'm so mad like i don't even want to talk to anyone now oh, let me just keep trying and see whether i'm gonna get anything back like but this is really upsetting me oh my god so i found this app called recuva and i'm just hoping that i can recover everything because are you seeing how long it's gonna take four hours it's gonna take four hours to recover all of this and it's more I'm just praying. I'm praying. I'm gonna get my videos back. We've waited here since two. Pray for me. Please. Are you seeing 3,600 and files? Do I have my files? Do I have my files? Huh? Okay, now I have to, I have to sort this out. Hi. We're back home and today i don't know like i'm not feeling it and i feel like this light is so bright i'm kind of home and i'm realizing opening my laptop like how bummed out i am because i have to <laughs> i have to deal with this recovery process again 
and the last time i was here it wasn't really working i don't know what to do now i'm 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 at that point where i just i'm gonna let it go because if i keep stressing myself out about this then it's just gonna kill my mood for longer so i'm gonna just let it go i think i have i've been i have very few videos i think i have videos probably for like this video here like i have the videos that i need for this video but for any other video that i thought i was planning to do or maybe even for my own you know references and for future purposes like looking back at them they're gone they're gone yeah just let it go i'm just gonna open netflix and kind of stop disturbing myself about this i went to panama i was able to get the stuff that i needed to do my nails and it came to a total of 580 which isn't bad actually for the things i got not bad yeah so i got obviously i them for about i got like stick on nails the clear ones like a clear set I got obviously like a top coat clear nail polish for the shine and then i got two colors they kind of look the same but they're not the same don't judge me if there's any color that i'm going for that is not black gray or white it's gonna be red and not like shouting red like you know sexy red so i got these two yeah so like this is more of like a deeper red like a maroon and then this is like a sexy fiery red kind of yeah so i don't know which one i'm gonna go for it but i might start with like the sexy fire red and maybe i can just give you a breakdown the nail polishes were kind of varying in price this is probably i think this was 95 the clear one is probably 90 then this one was 120 i guess packaging basically and then the stick-ons, the press-ons, sorry, were 250. So this was a, this was the most expensive thing, and then the bag was 25. So coming to a total of 580. Not bad, worth it. So I'm just thinking of you know calming myself down, chilling, forgetting about my whole situation until later, and just doing my nails and watching Designated Survivor. I'm thinking of having a matcha. I've been thinking of of a matcha the whole day, especially like a mango matcha. That would slap so hard, but I need to figure out how it's done. I'm gonna look for like recipes on how it's done and then go and make my version of it. Yeah, so that's kind of the evening plan. I haven't been on Pinterest in forever. I see we may not have a choice but to actually blend mangoes. Is this is this the only way? Is this truly the only way to make a mango matcha? Yeah, so it's kind of basically saying that you have to blend a mango with some honey. And then you whisk your matcha and yeah, this is seeming like the only way. Like I thought it was so confused like what was happening I couldn't really get the taste was it mango was it matcha like it was just and then it doesn't have enough sugar but like if you get a good spin yeah it's more like a smoothie because of the thickness of the mango mm. this yeah I can definitely have it every day but not every day I feel like I'll get sick of it sick of it because of like the texture mango just has like a weird thick creamy kind of texture but this is really nice mmm oh i know why i don't like mangoes because mango has a texture of baby food and like how it's usually like thick and like kind of slimy and bleh. yeah and i think one thing i really appreciate about this is that it doesn't have the overpowering taste of milk sometimes that i don't like in matches because i've tried like a, a matcha tonic was it a matcha tonic i can't remember i've done it before with blueberry I hope it is like a blueberry matcha tonic. Blueberry matcha tonic, that's what it was. And I was just like, mm hmm, that wasn't sitting right. And then sometimes with matcha, it's like the milk is a bit too much. But you still have to try and find that balance. But this, we're getting somewhere with it.
vlogging for him because it's been a long week it's kind of been a busy week mm -hmm. and like i said it's 10 45. why am i feeling guilty that i have not slept enough i'm not chilled enough i'm not done enough i have no idea but we're gonna find something to do my plan was i've just had breakfast i had like scrambled eggs with ham and chili and like four sausages those are three eggs three so three eggs four sausages me eat that much i hope you're proud of me because i don't i don't eat that much breakfast maybe maybe i would eat that much but then like lunch and dinner not really because breakfast kind of gives me an excuse to eat fried not really fried food but like yeah fried food and sweet things but then the rest of the day lunch and dinner is just like why is everything salty it's giving her disease what is it that you what disease do you get when you eat too much salt I don't know, I didn't do bio. I failed in bio terribly. No shame though. No shame. So like lunch and dinner for me is not it. It's not it. Even like when you go out sometimes to have when you go to like restaurants and stuff like that, I'm not always like a big fan unless you tell me in advance that I'm not gonna eat from like yesterday, dinner, today, breakfast, and then we can go out go out for lunch. Or even if you're going for dinner, I will not eat breakfast and lunch and then go out for dinner. Does that make sense? Too much sodium intake. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Today's Saturday. Today's weekend. And you know how the weekends are? Weekends up for chilling, you know, resetting, taking a deep nap, reading my books. Saturdays are days that I tend to try and do as much as I can. So that's Sundays. Sundays, you never know how they could go. Sundays sometimes are kind of designated for like family time so it could either be a lunch it could be church it could be seeing family members whatever 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 i'm just gonna try and do everything today so that tomorrow if i'm gonna sleep the whole day i'm gonna sleep the whole day don't feel guilty and then we can start on monday once i've had a good sleep let my body rest and then we can start straining ourselves on monday through friday i want to watch one more episode of designated survivor and then um i'm thinking i might go wash the car yeah i might go wash the car and this, then there's some product photography that I've been saying I'm gonna do the whole week but like really speaking like I never had the time to do that with me being at work we already miss out on like daylight light so yeah I'm gonna do that today and then I wanna do some like kind of meal prepping I have ideas of like juices like I'm busy there's a lot going on there's a lot going on yeah I wanna do like some juices that I know I've been saying I was supposed to do I also wanna do smoothies so that I don't actually do that in the morning well, and speaking of, I want to do my nails. I know I did them the other day. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do them again. And then, yeah, smoothies, juices, car, product photography, emails, editing. So that's the plan for today. Do I feel like I can get everything done today? Probably. It doesn't sound like a lot. So if I can be done by seven, yeah, yeah. By the time I should this video, what did you do on your Saturday? Was it eventful? Was it chilling? Were you spending time with friends? Were you spending time with family? Were you traveling? What did you do? Try it. Try it down in the comments. Maybe it can motivate me to also do those things. Because what else do we do on Saturdays except like chilling and resting? And going out? And traveling? What do you do on Saturdays? I'm very curious to know. If you're, if you're a religious person, like are you going to church? What do you do? Let me just finish one more episode of this. I'm on season 2 episode 16 of Designated Survivor. It's not a scandal. It's not a scandal. But it's good. I didn't realize how hot it is. The grass is actually drying. Like it's no longer green. It's, it's, it's gone. What?
doing it literally in the middle of the afternoon between 1 and 2 p.m when the sun is overhead i even had to like as soon as i came in i just went to the fridge and got my cranberry juice 27 yeah oh yeah but we did at least at least i feel like that is one of the biggest things i was supposed to do today so i'm glad i finished with that the biggest the biggest task that i had for today is over and done with the rest are kind of manageable and if i get through them today i'm gonna treat myself with like ice cream or something i don't know we'll see but there's still a few more things i need to do i need to do laundry because currently i'm washing the car mats so i need to do laundry and then i want to do my nails and then there's like some smoothie juices that I want to do for the week. And then there's still some product photography, but I cannot do that product photography until I do my nails. So I see I see myself postponing that product photography to tomorrow. I'm not gonna be able to do that in time. I've seen how long I do my own nails. It takes me minimum two hours to minimum. Minimum. I think I can actually do my nails now while I'm chilling here. And then later on I can go and do the smoothies and the juices stuff. So like if I can knock that out today, I'll be set for the week. So yeah, let me just chill for now because I'm tired. And I'm craving, I'm craving something. I'm craving like a slushy. Just something because uh, I think I was just so, I was just like, I was outside for so long. I'm feeling a bit delirious. Delirious? Is that the word to use? I don't know. But I'm feeling. So yeah, let's just. Let me just try and fix my nails right now. Okay, I'll take it. Peep the nails. Peep the nails. Don't look too close. Peep the nails. The nails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Four hours later. It doesn't matter the time as long as you're getting it right. Peep the nails. Four hours later, let me tell you, I'm I'm not apologetic because I was it was a work in progress. You were seeing the efforts of your work with time, and I'm proud. Like, and I've just finished like one season of Designated Survivor, and I'm on season three. I'm not helping my eyesight anyway. In any ooh, as much as my drink. Keep the nails. Now I'm just proud of myself. Like, I knew I could do it. But I didn't know I was this good. I feel like this week has kind of been like all over the place. I don't. I don't even know how the. I don't even know how this video is going by this point because there was a point, like I mentioned, I lost all of my videos and. But it's. I gave up and I made peace with it. They're gone. But it's sad. Like I have some memories about my sister going to school. Ah. Oh. Anyways, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I washed the car. I did my nails. Those are very time-consuming activities. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know, my brother has been on a phase currently of like listening to R&B, blues, all of that and now he's listening to Jaguar Someone broke his heart, I'm not gonna lie to you Someone broke his heart, cause why is he playing Kigilgil? Like who hurt you bro? Talk to me! I should actually go and talk to him But you know how men are guys If you're a man or a gentleman or why don't you guys talk about your things like why don't you talk about your problems or do you guys just prefer not to talk about it and like you just work out and drive and all of that stuff talking is not a thing for you guys is it that's kind of what i'm coming to realize well women we want to just say everything put it out there into the world let it go from our hearts and we move on with life um i've kind of had to learn to like kind of balance to where i don't have to say about anything i just you know keep it to myself keep it to myself and just like kind of you know reason reason myself out of whatever is depressing me or making me sad but gentlemen men yo yo don't like talking about your problems you do not like talking about your problems no so i'm reading i'm reading some of your comments here the most recent one was most beautiful forehead in kenya hands down thank you lanik strip the second one was the bible study bit had me on the floor yeah that was a very humbling time because after that I, I'm always cautious about putting myself in meat because I be talking sh I talk a lot of crap sometimes, like especially if you piss me off. Not your mom saying we'll pick a picture her like uh. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I think my family has like kind of had to come to terms with is my camera is going to eat before the rest of you. Sorry. It is what it is. 
So my mom rushing me, telling me to take those pictures, to take those videos, or like sometimes even ask me, Shan, you know, taking me. <laughs> you guys know me so well. I'm glad you guys are tuning into the videos. I don't know. I'm thinking is two videos is two videos a week too much? Let me know. We can definitely work something out. Good morning. It's Sunday. Woke up, made my bed, took a good shower, have my matcha, and mandazi soya. If you've never had mandazi soya, two things. One, you never lived in high school. Or two, you're still not living. Because what do you mean you never had mandazi soya or mandazi smoking? Or chap soya or chapo smoking? What do you mean? That was a bane of my existence in high school. Allegedly, we got to trouble for it because that's all I used to have in, in during lunchtime and probably even dinner sometimes because that wasn't for much. I grew up, I learned my lesson and, you know, I moved accordingly. However, in form one, for almost two terms, I never used to go for lunch or dinner. I'd go to the canteen and I'd go ask for chapo smoky or chapo soy or mandazi smoky or mandazi soy and two of them. That was my lunch and dinner. And then, um, somebody got wind of it one of the teachers got wind of it and they snitched on me to my parents i don't understand why i don't know how i don't i don't understand how it's any of your business on what i eat or what i choose not to eat as long as i'm eating and i was put on special diet um for i think two months and then i had to just succumb and eat rice and beans and gully like i'm not complaining don't get me wrong. i'm not complaining but like how's it your business but anyways, yes, that is my breakfast right now. I you know how I told you guys today I'm gonna do my product photography and my smoothie and juicy stuff. I've just been told that my mom is coming, like is on her way, and that means we're going for lunch. We always have this, I want to call them quarterly family lunches every time one of us is going back to school. Now we're having one today because my brother is going back to uni this week. <laughs> it's a weird thing we usually do. Yeah, so we're gonna be having that and currently it's 11 15. there's some things i want to do i know i'm giving us like a time frame of leaving here at two between 11 and 2 11 12 1 2 i'm married that's like three hours yeah three hours to do some of the things that i wanted to do especially the product photography stuff so i really want to do that but i really do miss my weekends where i can just like sleep but hey you can't be sleeping every day but like for someone who wakes up every day like at five six is at work by eight leaves or gets home at six seven because sometimes i need those weekends just sleep till eight or till nine i'm not complaining i'm not complaining but it gives me content it gives me some content because i'm still kind of bitter mm. i'm still kind of bitter about losing all of my videos but i'm trying to let it go it's a it's a process it's a process it's a journey it's a, i'm still grieving over all my good videos all those memories are gone I should just, I wish, okay, this has taught me now that I'm just gonna have to be editing everything and make sure I've edited, exported it, but I export it to the same stupid drive. And it's no, I export it and then just keep it on YouTube as a draft. And then the day that I'm going, that I'm supposed to be posting it, just post it. Don't leave everything to one device. Though, it was, it, honestly, it's just like a one time thing because I've never had to lose any of my files from this drive. Like I'm telling you, I've had it for five years, but I'm still kind of bitter about it. But hey, we move on, and you learn from your lessons. Just never, never put your hard drive into external um, computers or devices that you're not aware of or familiar with, because it's just gonna corrupt your files and delete everything. Just, I'm kind of trying, trying to plan what I want to do with my product photography stuff, and then once if I have that done for this week, I'm kind of set for the week, as well as editing those videos. Um, but how's your weekend going so far? Mine, busy, tiring, up and down. I think I'm very much an introvert. I prefer sometimes just being in my own company, just chilling in my room with my laptop and my books. Um, now, when it comes to social interactions, I'm just like, that That demands so much energy of me. And sometimes it's a mental challenge. <laughs> it really is a mental challenge. We're figuring, we're figuring that out, we're figuring that out. It's part of the whole thing, it's part of the process. You're learning yourself as an individual. And for me, I just like being by myself. I just like being me. Sometimes my family has an issue with it because I, I can lock myself in my room for two days. 
and I'm content. Like I'm I'm in my own world. Like my room, there's four walls. This is my own world, and like that's just me. And it's it's so funny for someone who's a creative or like posts on social media when it comes to human interactions. It's sometimes it's a bit tricky. Sometimes it's a bit tricky. So, but it's fine. No one's perfect. Like I'm an introvert. Like I, I think I'm, I'm like ambivert but like introverted side heavy on the introvert like very minimal on the extroverted part and part but um i'm definitely the kind of person where i can be extroverted when i'm around certain people but then when i'm around people that i'm not familiar with i'm very introverted and i'm not apologetic about it i'm the kind of person where if we're in um a social setting with probably mutuals and i'm sitting around people who i'm not really familiar with like i'm okay i'm not the kind of person who voices conversations um if i sense that it's not going naturally because my friends funny thing my closest people are i call them extroverts but like they do have that social awareness does that make sense like they know how to talk to people in social setups me i'm kind of awkward sometimes i'm kind of awkward does that make sense like so if you see me like this on youtube reacting yeah because it's just me and a camera but then if you see me in, in public maybe i'm a bit different i don't know I'm, I'm, i don't know i think i i say i'm shy or sometimes i just think i'm socially awkward i'm not that socially awkward i'm just like i, I don't know how i don't know how to make conversations sometimes let me just let me just get started on this stuff and then you know get ready with our day <laughs> taking care enough pictures the way I want them to come out so we're pulling out the Canon Canon EOS KISS X80 it's a very old camera but I used to take a majority of my pictures of this so we're bringing her back we're bringing her back mm -hmm. mm. photography videography consecration thing 